everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I have a really fun spring project to share with you. This is a card I made earlier using some of these brand new products from Scrappy Tail Crafts. This is the, the Hummingbirds are from the Mama Bird stamp set and those daisies are from the Whimsical Layering Daisies. Here's the Mama Bird set. Look at all these beautiful hummingbirds. I couldn't wait to make a card with that, so that's the card you see here. They also have coordinating dies available for that, and I do highly recommend getting those because look at these birds, and they're so much easier to cut out with the dies. Here's the Layering Daisy set. It's one of my favorite Layering Daisy set dies ever, actually, because she has them facing in all different directions, so I love that. This is the new Slimline Birdhouse pop-up die, and it comes with these two dies they're paper clipped together as you can see, but you need both of them to create the pop-up effect on this die. And you can also make slimline cards with it, which is what I'm gonna to make today as well. And then this is the slimline wood grain background die, which I am completely in love with and I'll show you why. And this last one are the Mother's Day sentiment circles. And there is also a bonus circle you can get when you spend a qualifying amount. Uh, it says you are beautiful. Look at that. I have backed it with some purple paper and you're going to see my first project with that one today. So let's get started. Now that I've showed you all these products, I am going to create a bunch of cards and do some spring ideas for you. And I hope you'll stay tuned because these are really fun. So I'm coloring up these birds. This is from the new Spring Birds stamp set, which I didn't show you at the beginning. I don't know why I didn't show you. I'll show you a little bit later though. I have this the set I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna color these up really simply with some finger daubers, and then I'm gonna add some details with some colored pencils. So I just wanted to show you that real quick, but uh, before I make these birdhouses, I wanted to tell you the kind of a funny story. I was making these birdhouses and I had left the back door open a little bit for my dog because sometimes when I get into my workshop, I am in the zone. And so I wanted him to be able to go out. Oh, let me just tell you real quick. I die cut a bunch of these hummingbirds with the die so that I could stack them up three tall. And then I'm going to put that hummingbird that I colored right over the top. And this is one of the beautiful things when you have the coordinating dies is you can build up the backgrounds so that these are a dimensional element. You don't have to use foam tape and they won't collapse in the mail. So look, there's that die right there. I just love that for these hummingbirds. So that's one of the reasons I don't always buy the coordinating dies, but this time I really felt like it was going to be a good thing. So here's the die for the house, and I'm going to cut out a whole bunch of those, and then I'm going to start creating these cards. And as I show you how to put together these daisies, I'm going to tell you that story real quick. So I was in my craft room. I had the back door open and all of a sudden I heard this really loud bang out in the front room. So I go out there and a bird had flown in through that small little opening in the door that I left open, a sliding glass door, and he was in the house. And I thought it was kind of ironic because I was making birdhouse cards. And I bet you he just wanted to come in and take a look at his new digs, right? Anyway, I ended up opening the front door. I had to coax him out. He got stuck in between my shutters and my window. But eventually, after a lot of chirping and a little bit of screaming, <laughs> he flew out the front door. So he is free. We are all safe. No one was injured. <laughs> So back to this beautiful birdhouse, I'm just now gluing on those flowers, the hummingbird and the you are beautiful medallion die. And I have created a wood grain using an embossing pad in my die cut machine. So I didn't fully cut it out, I embossed it instead. I'm gonna show you the difference between die cutting it and not. But first I'm gonna score the top of one of those houses. This is gonna be the back of the card. And then I am going to glue that together with the front that we've just created. Make sure they're lined up and hold that together till it dries. And then we've got a beautiful top folding slimline card. And those flowers I just cut out of cream 
cardstock and then I colored them with Copic markers. And here is what I use for the purple part. This is metallic paper that is backed with just some craft paper. So it's really easy to die cut. It works out great. And here I'm just pulling out one of all of the colors I wanna create with, cause you know I can't stop at just one of these birdhouses, right? <laughs> so we're gonna make a rainbow of birdhouses with all of these beautiful papers. And I'm gonna do them each a little bit different and I'm gonna show you all the differences so you can see how amazing these are to create with. These products are just beautiful, amazing. And this card will stand up for you. So look at this, you can stand it, it can be a decoration, it can be a card. I love it, <laughs> like really love it. But when she created this, this birdhouse, she created it to be a pop-up card. So I'm gonna show you how to make a pop-up card in a few minutes as well. But now I just wanted to show you that I die cut all the pieces and I'm going to stack them three high to make these even more sturdy which I really like that a lot. So I'm just gonna go through and put these all together. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the rooftop of the houses as well. And I'm gonna layer them all three high. I also wanted to mention that Scrappy Tails Crafts has a add-on that is a house to look like a real house. And they have a brick background die as well, which I also love, but I am not showing you that here in this video. So here's another one that I have just embossed to that background. Look at how pretty this is on this craft cardstock. And here's one that's actually die cut. So I'm gonna back that onto some off-white paper here and look at how pretty that looks on the off-white paper. So all I'm gonna do is just glue that on and then trim off the extra and add the roof and the bottom of the birdhouse and we'll start decorating these up. So I decided to use this one with the yellow flowers and the yellow and blue bird and we're gonna create that one out of the yellow. And for this one, I have used some of those flowers and just glued them to the back of this medallion and added the blue jay bird. And this one says, I love you, mom and it's from that Mother's Day Sentiment Circle die set. I backed it with a little bit of polka dot paper. It's hard to tell those polka dots are so small, so it's green and blue, but it looks really pretty with this set. So this one, I die cut the wood grain out of white paper, and I backed it with some of that craft paper. So it's a totally different look. Now you can cut this in any color you want, you can cut it out of um, brown even, which I just wanted to show you all the varieties. Now here's one of the dies that comes with the birdhouse pop-up die. And all you do is just fold back those smaller pieces and then you fold forward the one in the middle. So you create kind of an M shape, see there? And then what you're going to do is glue a portion of this, glue the back of this to the back of your card so I'm just using some strong liquid adhesive here. I'm gonna glue that right to the back and I'm, you can probably put this anywhere you want. For me, I put it kind of in the center of where the house is, of the rectangle part. And then I'm just gonna set that acrylic block on the top so that it can dry there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other piece using the opposite side so that the large, see how the large piece is pointed towards the middle? So that's not gonna show up on the outside of your card. So I'm just trying to line these up so that they're even, and then I'll put the acrylic blocks on so that they can dry. And then once that's ready, I will put glue on the small tab. We're gonna add it to this card here. We're gonna put the glue right here on this tab, and then on the small tab on the other side, and then that's how we're gonna glue these together. For this card, I used the Happy Mother's Day and an orange and yellow bird, and then I did all of the sun-facing flowers. See how they're so cute? And then you wanna line up the bottom of the house with the bottom of the front house. If you line them both up, then this is gonna stand up perfectly. See, look at that. It is so cute. So now, I, one thing I didn't do is, you can cut holes with part of the dies, you can cut holes in this birdhouse so you can see through to the, to the back of the birdhouse or to the second piece there, and you can put some birds back inside the house as well. So cute. Now this one I cut out the wood grain with white and I backed it on cream paper. 
Here is the pink one that I did that I embossed it on craft paper and I die cut out that little daisy for the birdhouse, added some pink flowers. Here's the yellow one I showed you earlier with the craft on cream paper. And then I used this sentiment from the Mama Bird set that says, you mean the world to me. And I added the center of the heart down below. So there's a couple different holes for the birdhouse. For this one, I cut out the home that comes in the die set. And then here's the spring birds die that I was telling you about. All these birds come from the spring birds and so does this tree. So I just cut some of the branches to put it on this house for the green one. And then I backed it with some of that polka dot paper. Here's the blue one that we finished up. I added the hummingbird to the top there of that one. And then we have the purple one that is also embossed on craft. And I used the You Are Beautiful, which I backed with purple paper. You can see the Happy Mother's Day. I didn't back with paper at all. And the blue one I backed with a polka dot paper. So you can choose to leave it open or not on the sentiment circle dies. And you can put your sentiment right on the back of the pop-up. So look how cute all of these are. There's so many options to create these birdhouses. And I know I went through this very quickly. You can do a lot of things. And I hope this gave you some ideas and kind of got your inspiration flowing to make these. These will be so cute for a spring decoration even for Easter. These, I'm going to send one to my granddaughters. I think they're going to love it. And of course, for Mother's Day too. And this thank you card is also going to be perfect for a little spring thank you. So I hope you love these as much as I do. To see all the product, I've linked it all below so you can go easily take a quick look at these. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help with YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.